Yep, it's the travel day. So today I'm going to have a quick breakfast here at the place I found next to my hostel that I ate at yesterday morning for breakfast. It was really good. And um, I'm going to take my stuff. I'm going to go to the airport. And uh, <laughs> I found that they have a bus to Hua Hin. I think it should only be 200, 300 baht uh, for the bus. And um, I'm going to show you kind of how to get there, show you some of the way back to uh, the airport. You saw that the other day when I had to go back for my planner, but I'm going to enjoy eating breakfast and then go there. And then I need to go south. I need to go to the beaches and relax. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This looks so good. Okay, so you got a quick ramen stir fry with chicken, cabbage, <coughs> green onion, extra peppers, obviously, because you guys know how much I love my spice. And a little bit of this pepper. Looks so good. So I just took the BTS from Palm Chit to Hayataya. Uh, anytime you need to go, if you need to go to the airport, you know, when the BTS stops are the only thing close to you, you can take the BTS right here by a type, and then it has the interchange with the airport rail link. So I'm gonna go basically check in, check in. I'm gonna go to the terminal, buy my token, take it back to the airport, and then I'll take the bus from there. So yeah. This is a, it's a nice day out. It's a little hot, but you know, not bad. And we've got the uh, the old rail down there again that you saw in my other video with uh, Virginia. So I took a little side track and I'm getting off at the uh, high. And this is my friend Virginia. No. What is it? It's so effing hot. Who actually, me and her came to this, this stop uh, when we left the airport. We took it all the way to here and then we took a cab over to her hostel. So yeah, they have the map. Everywhere you go, you know, it's easy to navigate here. If you don't speak Thai, as long as you speak English, you'll be okay. So that's one thing. If you're visiting here and you don't speak English or Thai, it could be more difficult. But if you understand basic English, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I've got my Indiana Jones hat on that my friend Nakia gave me. So once you get off the uh, BTS and to the stop, you just find the sign that says airport rail link just follow the signs you know what i mean it's like it's it's videos like this are good to help you to build your confidence up but it really it's like it's really simple i mean you just you just follow the signs um i was gonna see if i find a money tr uh, exchange here they had one there but i like to use the super rich like i said because they have the good rates but yeah you just walk this way follow the airport rail link signs Oh, and there's a super rich right there. I'm gonna exchange some money. That's the most important thing. So yeah, super easy to exchange money. Just have your passport with you and give them the money. And um, I'll say this, in Thailand, I've never once had them give me the wrong amount. Um, you know, in other countries in Europe, you have to watch them carefully. But here, I've noticed that they're very honest. Um, I've never been given the wrong change so far in two weeks here. I've never had someone try to take advantage of me in that way at these kind of places. Obviously, like there's like some scams, you know, they do, but not, not at, at these places. Like, really, you know, super rich, it's always been good. And uh, the people at restaurants have always been very nice and friendly and they always give me the right change. So yeah. So yeah, you just walk up the escalator, 
you see the sign that says ticket vending machine and that's what I showed you the other day where you put the money in and you get the token but I'll show you again if you're watching and you need to know how to get there so you just walk up you hit English you're gonna go to the airport click airport one person 45 baht you put the money in here Wait. Token comes out here. And your change comes out down here. It's, it's that easy. And then you just find where you go. And it's this way. Once you pass the ticket stall, follow the signs. It's all about following signs. If you can follow signs, You'll be fine. That should be a song. I'm gonna write that. If you can follow signs, then you will be fine, my friend. I just killed the rhyme, but whatever. And it'll say, you see it right there, it says, Savon Bahami, the airport. So yeah, it's written in English right on the train too. So we made it on the train. Luckily this is the last stop, so everybody got off here. So there's plenty of room. As we go towards the airport, there's gonna be more and more people filling up on here, so it's nice uh, to come to this station because it's the termination station. That's another rhyme. Uh, but the termination station is gonna be where you can actually find a seat, which is uh, nice. It's gonna be, I, don't know, I think it's like six, seven stops until we get there. So yeah, after about 30 minute, <coughs> 30 minute train ride, we're back here. This place should look familiar. I've been here before. And uh, where I came back to go to get my planner. Um, so once you get off the train, it puts you right into the basement of uh, the airport. You just take this escalator up and I'll show you where to go from here. But yeah, it's so convenient to get back to the airport and you know. So once you get off the escalator, just turn right head forward you can either go follow that sign to the departure arrival hall if you need to you can use the map over here um, I have to go to level one gate eight for the bus but I'm thinking of actually like taking a side trip and checking with the ticket people and see if there's any, see if there's any flights anywhere for a good price you know so sometimes you can get last minute flights at the airport too so what I was referring to when I first walked in there the you know the big board with departures and arrivals and I noticed that there's a flight leaving to Phuket at around 1.30 so I could always go to the Thai Airlines and just be like hey do you have any open seats I've got a credit card find out how much it is and you know if it's a good price and hey say you know forget the bus and just take the flight there you know so I just checked on the big electronic board uh, for the airline the Thai International Airline it's on the fourth floor I'm just gonna go there and just ask them for information on like if there is a flight available. That's the good thing when you only have like a backpack with you and you don't have to check anything. You can always just like hop on, hop off anywhere, you know? One of the benefits of traveling light and see if I go first floor, that's the shuttle bus, fourth floor, departure. So before I go to the shuttle bus, which I know goes like every hour or so, I think for Hua Hin, every hour and a half, and then for Pattaya, every hour. Um, but I'm going to check the ticket counter at the uh, airline. Okay, so this is why you don't make definite plans when you travel because half the fun is just changing them as you go. So I'm not going to be doing the bus to Hua Hin. I found a $60 flight from Bangkok to Phuket. So I'm going to Phuket. And uh, yeah, it was like 60 bucks, real quick and easy. I'd rather fly anyway. I, I think flying is a lot funner. And um, so I'm going to go check into my flight now. It leaves in about an hour and a half, uh, so I'm going to check in, get some food, and I'll let you know what ends up happening, you know. Um, I'll have to do Hua Hin at another time. But, you know, there's more, you know, if I go to Phuket, then I can go to Krabi. It, it'll be good, you know. Hua Hin, you know, I can come back soon, so. So pretty. So here's my domestic flight check-in.
So we made it through airport security. Funnest part of traveling, taking off everything, putting it back on. Obviously I'm kidding, but it's a lot easier to fly. I'd rather deal with like, you know, two seconds of that and cut my travel time down by a lot. Um, but yeah. That's really cool, the tunnel right there. So futuristic. to A1A Beachfront Avenue. Vanilla Ice. Of course, it's the last exit, but it's okay. Flight 215 to Phuket. Looks like it's on time. Right now it's 1320, so we've got about an hour. I wanted to find my gate first, and then I can worry about getting food later. Always make sure you know where you're flying out of before you stop to get food and stuff and waste time and delay yourself. different option to get there, you know? Much quicker option. And now it's time for the space shuttle walk. Like astronauts getting onto the shuttle. That guy's got really cool hair. Pretty, uh, pretty roomy for a domestic flight. I was hoping it wasn't like a tiny, you know, plane because of my bag. Sometimes domestic flights, you never know how big it'll be. But this is actually pretty big. All right, got my seat. Got the emergency exit aisle, which is actually really awesome. The guy at the ticket counter was like, "You're a big guy, and where they have you booked at, you're in the middle." So he moved me here, which is really cool because look at all that leg room. I haven't had this much leg room in years of traveling, so it's actually really, really nice. King in the castle, king in the castle. Just 
like a it's like a chicken and gravy hot pocket. That's the best way I can describe it. Just a hot pocket. Hot pocket. So we made it safely to Phuket, Phuket, excuse me. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find a little pit stop. Maybe find a place where I can get some Wi-Fi, figure out where I'm gonna stay at because I just kind of came here randomly, but that's the fun way to travel.